What is up guys? Welcome to another pottery video. Glad to have you in the studio. I'm John the Potter. So today's video, I wanted to talk about something that we did last weekend. We, did, we took a bunch of pots up to uh, Cherico Pottery. So his name is Joel Cherico and he is a potter from about an hour from here in St. Joseph, Minnesota. Um, and he opened up his studio for the first time. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that event, show you guys some clips. He's a really unique and interesting potter. So I want to talk about him. He, he throws everything on a, it's not a kick wheel, but you have to kick it. Um, so anyway, I want to talk a little about that, show you guys some clips. Uh, but first, I want to tell you guys that we have pots for sale in the Etsy shop right now. So I'm trying for the first time this year to actually keep a store stocked. So we've been adding uh, pots as they've come out. Uh, and then we have our last kind of like restock on December 11th. So we'll probably have 40 or 50 pots we'll upload on December 11th at 6 p.m. Uh, and then we'll just try and keep stuff stocked until Christmas. So if you guys need any Christmas presents, uh, go check out the Etsy shop. I'd much appreciate it. And hopefully whoever you give gifts to would appreciate it too. The other thing I want to talk about was my family is planning on taking a trip, a, we'll call it inspirational pottery trip. So we're going to go to Puerto Rico uh, in January. And so if I have any followers from Puerto Rico and you have a studio or you know people there, or you know an artist there that I could come learn from or get inspiration from, um, it's kind of just like a, we want to go and get away from our studio a little bit, see some other people's work and hopefully make some cool YouTube videos about it too. So just email me if you have a connection there. This year has been a ton of custom orders. We've been cranking out. We just had 70 pots go out the door today. Someone came and picked up a custom order. Yesterday we had 50 pots get picked up that were a custom order. We finished the 350 Anderson windows mugs. Uh, so it feels good to get all those out. We had, uh, I always keep track of how many pots I make all the years long and I'll, I'll tell you guys at the end of this year, but we just had the most productive month we've ever had and that was like 525 pots in November. So most of the time I make anywhere right around 300 probably, 250 to 300 pots a month. Um, but November we actually pulled over 500 out of the kiln, which is crazy for me. So very fun. This last weekend we went up to Joel Cherico studio. So Cherico Pottery, uh, Joel, is really active on Facebook. He does Facebook live videos. So if you're on Facebook, I definitely recommend going to check him out. One of the most unique things about him is the way that he uses a manual wheel, not like an electric wheel like mine where it's plugged in and I can control the speed. He actually uses a wheel that he has to kick. So I'll show you some videos of that. Uh, and a few years ago, he set the world record for the most pots thrown in one hour. I have one, I'll show you. So a few years ago, Joel threw 159, this is 125 out of 159, uh, of these pots in one hour. And that was the world record. So he held the world record. And since then it's been beaten twice, but both times they were beaten on an electric wheel. So people threw like, I think the record is like 200 some now. So that's one really cool thing about Joel. Um, Joel was really inspirational to me when I was starting to think about how do I grow online and grow my business so that I can bring my pottery online and not just in my basement and sell it at the coffee shops. So he has done a lot of very interesting things. He has an amazing Patreon uh, following there. And so anyway, the Shop Small Crawl was, it was kind of like the Art Wander if you followed my channel for a while. I always do the art wander every year. And so that's an art crawl around the area with like 35 artists. This was the St. Joseph, Minnesota. It had like 12 sites on it and there was a shuttle going back and forth. Uh, so I loaded all my pots up. I brought about 150 pots up there and loaded up at six in the morning, got there at, you know, seven o'clock, started setting up for the crawl that was 10 to five and had a great time. It was super fun. I got to demo a little bit on a treadle wheel. I'll show you some video of that. Uh, we got to watch Joel and see his studio. His studio is massive. It's huge. You walk in, it's this huge like warehouse almost uh, with three wheels in it. And then there's like 10,000 pounds of clay that he has stored there. He has two kilns in a separate room. Uh, then he has a whole other room that's just kind of like a play area. And then they have a whole office area too. And Joel's business is, I mean, it's amazing how much he is able to create and sell. He has three full-time employees. 
Um, and I've actually been looking at maybe bringing on a, a full-time employee as well. So I was talking to Joel a lot about that. Yeah, it was good. It was good to just hang out, throw some pots, like hang out with people. It's always fun when primarily you work to sell online or you're like constantly shipping stuff online to have people pick your work up and talk about it and see the colors. And, and it was cool to see the difference between Joel's work and my work. You know, my work has lots of different bright colors and you know, you can tell the difference between throwing on an electric wheel and on the kick wheel. Um, so I really respect Joel and I respect his business a lot. So it was fun to hang out with him. I am planning on one of my big goals for 2023 is to do some like interview style videos like I did when I did with Matthew Kelly in my wood fire video. So one of my first people that I would know I wanna do is go up to Joel's place and interview and talk to him. So here is a quick little montage of some uh, video from, throughout the day. Uh, hope you enjoy. All right, thanks again to Joel for having me out to his amazing studio. Uh, it was a great time, and thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys need any pots, check out the Etsy shop. There so, should be some on there right now, uh, as well as a batch going up on December 11th, and then there will be a few more things that trickle on there before Christmas. So go check it out. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Have a fantastic holiday season. We'll see you guys in the next video.